Hey guys, welcome to some Crisis Warhead. I haven't done anything regular in a while, and I was looking through my Crisis videos. I'm like, you know what? I never did Crisis Warhead ever. So, you know, I kind of wanted to do it. And so here I am doing it. Um, so, uh, we're playing this on it's Enthusiast Difficulty, of course. No. I, I couldn't find any real mods for this game. I don't know if the Crisis ones work for this one, but I figured it doesn't make a difference. It looks really good at anyways. So, Enthusiast Graphic Settings. Hooray. If you want to see how... Uh, this is a game, by the way... Look at, check this out. 2008. So, keep in mind, this is now six years old. Um, so, you know, compared to, I guess, games today or, or whatever, and, and reminisce, like I will be. Uh, I haven't played this in quite a long time, so... Uh, difficulties go, basically... Easy just kind of like highlights everything for you, um, and then like enemies get easier, I guess. Uh, hard is how the game is like kind of normally played because the binoculars are simple and stuff like that. I don't really get it because I've always played a Delta and I never found it to be hard because there's like no iron sights or no uh, no crosshairs. You don't get any warning of grenades. You f dirty casual. Um, and enemies speak Korean, so you can't understand them, which is kind of cool. I guess it's immersive, and you gotta pick up the weapons yourself. So here's a pre-rendered cutscene for your uh, for your taste. Please enjoy. Precursors two and four isolated. Damn it. The proxy's redlining on three trigger detection algorithms. Initiating AI bypass procedure. We've still got live precursors. I've got no choice. I think we've got a code blue.
Our Raptor team! Yeah, what's left of it? We need to get you out of the open. Rally point is any cover we can find in that bridge. We got enemy inbound from all other directions. This is Bravo 1 2. We've got Raptor. All the tango elements AIA. Moving to checkpoint 2 0. Where are air support? We've got incoming ID. So I could totally go nano suit ninja on their asses, but you know. I'm choosing to let you soak in the atmosphere of everything blowing up around us. Oh no, everybody's dying and getting shelled. How horrible. That's the ridge through there. We'll buy you as much time as we can. See you at the victory parade, Sergeant. Well, it's so glad that you guys escorted me to this uh, thing I have to crouch under. How, how quaint. So obviously we're playing as Jester here. Uh, right after Nomad destroyed some of the, uh, uh, the, the battleship or whatever. So it takes place kind of after that, as you can tell by the cutscene. Oh, hey, fellas. Oh, goodbye. where we landed. You know the outcome. I saw what happened to that boat, but I thought it was just an anomaly. I'm going to pass this intel along to the DIA, but for now, continue with your objective. Link up with Sierra team and be their ACM for the airstrike. These poor cows. You know, truthfully, the first I have, I've already tried to record this part, and I was jumping like a fucking maniac and skipped the cutscene the first time. I went, Fuck! And I had to like redo it. So, welcome to take two. Take one will never be spoken about again. So I don't remember a lot about this game at all. I played it a very long time ago. Uh, I beat it. I. I will tell you though, this is considered to be better than. Um, and then Crisis 1. Command Sierra lead, bearing 270, Angel 7, target is 16 and closing. Copy Sierra lead. Be advised, we're experiencing significant radio interference. Suspect KPA music. Copy that. Beginning final approach. Oh yeah! Finally get to see some action on this trip. Fangs away, Sierra 2. This is strictly hit and run. You copy? Yeah, I copy. I want to use this. Oh, I can just turn it off. That's, that's what you do. So. Get ready for more Neto Suit fucking ninja action. I, like, you know what? I sat on like, I don't know why I never did Crisis Warhead. I, I was saving it for a time that I, I really wanted to fucking have something new to play. Well. Oh, here we go. We got some tangos right over here. To start off the day. And I can just go. Maximum armor. Maximum speed. We're gonna we're gonna sneak up on them. I don't know if I should start the jumping shenanigan the, the the fucking nano suit ninja shenanigans. You know what? Let's do that. Fucking just to get things started. Yeah, it still works. And the cloaking, of course, is still just OP as shit in this game. Maximum strength. Maximum speed. This is the reason we play Crisis games, by the way, guys. Where's the, where's the other guy? I don't know where I put him. Oh, no, I didn't put him anywhere. <laughs> uh oh. 
Oh god. See, I can just kind of cloak and just stand right here. Now the thing is, your 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 suit is just powerful all the time. Uh, let's go find this guy, hey. And now we can go maximum strength and then punch him in the face. This is gonna really hurt him. Ow. <laughs> Good times for all. All right, let's take their gun. So we got like this thing already. It's got like a flashlight silencer. Yeah, it's got a couple things. I mean, I don't really have to silence it. I just kind of am. Oh. command, be advised. Raptor will be your ACM on this mission. Raptor? I don't suppose I have a choice in this, do I? Fucking hell, I knew it. Sean O'Neill. Sierra lead. Deploy seven. Over. Roger that. I don't really know the difference between the scar and the, the other weapon, but whatever. Ah, it's only blew up here. So this is, yeah, this game is considered to be substantially better than Crisis 1 because they took in the feedback that nobody liked fighting the aliens and you don't do it as often here. Or if you do, they're more interesting encounters. Uh, there's a bit of a, tur there's some still some turret sections. It's not great, but quite honestly, if you want to talk about what the best uh, Crisis game is, uh, it would be this one. And things still look really pretty on these graphics things. Although the sun's probably a little bit too bright. Because the sun's just going up, I guess. Whatever. Top on lead. Over. Roger, command. The KPA will soon be isolated. Now we need to neutralize their base of operations at the beach resort. Head there and be ready. Bombs away. Affirmative. I'm sneaking around them. This is all on purpose. They seem very alert to my presence, though. Ah, uh, motherfucker. He knew. Oh, God. Damn it, I was gonna blow up the fuel canister on the back of the car, but I failed miserably. Okay, we're gonna try this with slightly Sierra less of a hell. New orders from JSOC. Reallocating Sierra 2 for ground support. Roger, command. Negative, command. Send Sierra 3. Sierra 3 has already been allocated. What she means is your gin soaked ass is surplus to requirements. Damn but it. You want I can't see Sierra it. Two. Well, now you've got it. Yeah, okay. Ground support. I copy. Oh, uh, he's gone. Command. Priority is target acquisition and neutralization. Oh, uh, your time it is. Recon. Keep your calm cam rolling. They're throwing grenades at me. The Korean mill net. Access their tactical network and let's see what they've got cooking. With a bit of luck, we might be able to pick up more than just intel. This is this is the fun part, where we just get to chuck shit at Koreans. Oh my god! How did I miss that? I suck at fucking throwing tires now. I, I I'm getting a little rusty, guys. I'm my, I'm I'm really sorry. I have no excuse for this this level of of crappy tire throwing. This might as well just shoot people for a change. I got him. Nope, this guy's still alive. <laughs> like, it, this is actually a much better game. Like, people, people often like this is actually what they what they did back in the day uh, is back 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 when before you were born. No, when this game was released, they bundled it with actually something uh, a game called Crisis Warhead, and this was the the multiplayer component uh, to this game, uh, and it was 
Uh, it, it wasn't bad. It's pretty much just fighting people with nano suits and entering vehicles. What the? Why do I have to enter vehicle here? Oh, I don't know why. Uh, pretty much just like the multiplayer as you expect. Like, you get all the strength, the cloak, and the speed, and the armor modes that you do get in this game. But usually it's just people, like, it's a lot of camping because you just cloak in the forest and then, like, kind of just fucking... I don't know, I, I never really got into the multiplayer for this game. I just kind of fun with the single player. So, you know. This, this is what I live for. Alright, let's go. So I, I kind of recognize this place. I'm wondering if this is the place. I think this is the place Nomad went up to go take out the KPA area. There's another guy right here. It's, this is the lagoon. Are they already fucking know I'm here? Are you kidding? I, I mean, I guess I wasn't exactly stealthy. They, they have an ATV here. Oh, here's a guy. Uh, I shouldn't switch out quite yet. I don't know why I didn't pick him up the first time. <laughs> I love it. You know what, you can just play the entire game just mulling the shit out of everything. That would be a great challenge run. Ah, let's go hack the computer. What kind of mouse is this? Oh, they have a fucking trackball? Okay. Take this with me. I've got a lot of traffic in these reports, but the key points are... 1. A political officer from Pyongyang called Colonel Lee is running this operation. 2. He recently requested a special delivery from Yongbyon Kun. That's their main nuclear research site. Exactly. I need to take this higher, but consider this your top intel target until we have clearance on how to engage it. Now, this is interesting. We've received reports from Team Idaho of a Korean propaganda station flooding their channels. The Korean Milnet pinpoints the source here, close to your position. Add it to your secondary targets. Copy, command. Try to I'm trying to throw the, the fucking mouse things at them, because it's, it's a horrible mouse. I don't know how they expect to play Crisis with those things. Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. These these things are terrible. Can I pick up the key? I can even pick up the keyboard. Ah, uh, how far could you throw a keyboard, motherfucker? This guy had two mice. Look at this. This guy had two keyboards and two mice here, because he had two, two monitors. So that's the only way he could fucking work it. See, Koreans don't even Koreans can't even fucking dual monitor set up right, because they probably use like Windows 8 or some shit. One more I I can dual wield this? No fucking way! Okay, this is one of the things they've added to this game, clearly. Okay, so now we're going akimbo. What? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, this is a- this is a- this is a pistol. This is a pistol setup. Fucking awesome. Alright. I feel like a fucking certified badass now. Now I can actually- can I- no, laser sight only works with these. This is gonna be good. So this looks like one of the anti-aircraft guns that I don't think. Uh, this is this is actually pretty cool. I like this. this. Is so this is one of the new weapons they've added to this game. You know, any game with a Kimbo is a good game. That's all I have to say. All right, let's let's see where are these communists? Are they are they still communist? Are North Koreans still communists now in this in this day and age? What kind of computer is this? Okay, let's see. Arg range four hundred multi channel. Oh, fuck it, it's boring. Let's throw it away. Let's throw this one away too. I hate computers. Oh, we got some grenade frags here. Oh, some more of this akimbo stuff. We also get mines, and I don't think we had claymores in the last game, so. I don't know how fucking useful those are gonna be, but probably not very. This is way more fun than the fucking pistol. Screw the pistol, we're not using the pistol anymore. We're just gonna go, like, YOLO. And can I pick up pills? Yes, I can. Uh. It's 
It's a very large magazine. Future fashion? Let's see. I want to look at it. Next gen super suit. Is if is the fashion capital whatever, I'm not gonna read that. Reading is boring. Stay in school, kids. I'm gonna turn off the radio. Just because I don't want to see it. So here we can, you know, this is the uh, metagame of um, Crisis is to basically, uh, uh, you can have drinks, uh, and so if you drink so much that uh, that the Koreans can't outdrink you, then you win. You represented America in in a, in a fantastic fashion. I can I, you can pick up servers and stuff. All right. Well, I don't think there's much else here. It is kind of cool though. Like, look, they even have like fucking like. What is this island, and why do they have this stuff? I thought it was just like a random tra tropical island, but whatever. Oh well. Oh, like there's a boat there. Let's, let's go look at the boat. That looks pretty interesting. I kind of like just exploring stuff. Ow, my head. No, this is not gonna work. Ah, oh, guess there's not much else for us to do now. Let's go. Let's go look at on the dock and uh, kind of like take in the nice view. Remember, this is like this is the game in its default form. You know, take the motor, throw it as far as we can, all that kind of stuff. Oh well. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time we'll uh, continue on the beach and uh, and continue to have fun. So I'll see you later. Bye.